Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique War Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos? What are they all about? When I'm Let's Build video, I take a model kit and I show you guys how to put it together. If there's any areas of concern on the sprue, as in things are number different on the sprue to their instructions, I'll give you guys a heads up. If there's anything like pipes or chains or anything that's you know difficult to take off the sprue, it's a visual way to help you. If there's any part of the piece you're taking off where there's a weird little bit that needs to stay, again, I'll give you guys a heads up. If you suffer with dyslexia or struggle with instructions in general, this is a visual way to help you. If you're interested for models for an army that you have or that you're gonna you're thinking of collecting, again, this is just a visual way to show you how easy their models are put together. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so you would have seen from the thumbnail today I'm building Blight Lord Terminators to add to my Death Guard army. Now, before we look at the sprue, I will say these are absolutely amazing. I was really impressed with the normal Death Guard and Space Marines, but these are just as good. Um, okay, so tools needed as always mold line scraper. You can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade. If you're using a sharp tool, just be careful because it's sharp. Let people in the house know you're using a sharp tool. Make sure the cats, any cats don't get there, any little hands don't get there. Clippers, most useful part of our kit. Now I have this wonderful material, sanding sponge. It's basically sponge with sandpaper on side. It's great for getting into chains and stuff like that. And you can see there's some chains here, so it's perfect for getting into stuff like that. This is also perfect when you put the finish building the model and go, oh look, I missed a bit there, I missed a bit there. This can clean it down. The sanding sponge or sanding block. Block is more rigid. Uh, sanding sponge is probably best for, for you know model models. The block I would say is more probably better for vehicles. But you can use either on on you know normal models. Now it is a plastic kit, so plastic glue. Right, so for everyone that's new, the first thing we do is we look at the the sprue or sprues and ascertain what's what to make our job easier. Because sometimes you look at the sprue. And it could be 200 parts and you go what the hell is all this and really you're only, you're only using like 150 parts so we have a look what's going on so i can see body I see the front of a body that's very straightforward this is very very by the looks of it's very straightforward one thing i do like the arms are solid pieces i do imagine there's gonna be one or two that's not but they look do look like solid pieces now this one here it's two-handed weapon that's for this thing this the great plague weapon for this bit as well so that's not that's not too bad because by the looks of it that just pins in that hole there and then just yeah we sort of figure that out shoulder pads there is an arm here half an arm so i'd imagine that's probably for that i'd say one because it's close to it and two because there's only a wrist there look at that a good look at that that is beautiful you got Reaper also cannon. More body parts. There looks like a bit of a plague spewer. The arm to plague bottles or plague combi weapons. As standard. I think it's plague bottles are standard and then you can change it to combi weapons. Uh, one in five can have a spewer, one in five can have a blight launcher. Oh, sorry, one in five can either have a Reaper cannon or a blight launcher and then one in five, you can have a place where you are. One in five can have the, the great weapon. So basically you can have, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the reporter cannon and the plague spewer because that's like a torrent weapon. So it's really handy when you deep strike them in. Um, yeah. And the great plague weapon and then just one normal guy with a combi weapon and then the sergeant. I mean, look at that. That's just absolutely beautiful. Um, more body parts, and shoulder pads. Pretty straightforward. It is very, very straightforward. I don't see anything that's too complicated on it. At first, you know, to be honest with you, that piece might look, looks like it's going to be a bit of a problem, but that's one little piece. It's not a big issue. So amazing. These Death Guard models. I'm, I will say, if you, if you look at Death Guard models, I think, oh yeah, I, I like that. I might get them one day. 
they're worth getting because I mean, look at that. They're heavy dry brush with silver and there's a bit of uh, troll slayer orange here and there just to make that look really rusty. That's actually amazing. So anyway, I'm going to finish getting set up and come back to you for the first pieces. Right, so the first piece we need is number one, which is this piece here. And then we need number two or number three, whichever head you want. This, this one. It's a bit dead. There's the front of that one. It's actually crazy. I'm probably going to go with this one because I like the way that looks. So I'm going to set those two pieces up. I'll show you how they go together. Well, this is very straightforward. At the bottom there, there's a little triangle piece. There's a little triangle piece at the bottom of his head. His head just slots in there. Like, sort, sort of like that, slightly off. Just like the off. There we go. So soon as I look at the teeth at the bottom of the face. I should probably get a bit more. Okay, so fiddled about a bit. He's going nicely now. The next piece we need is number four, which is this piece here, which is next to the body parts. Let's take that off and show you how it goes on. Again, this is very straightforward. So it just slots in there like so. Let's see if it looks nuts. So the next piece we need is number five, which is we've just taken these two pieces, number five from there. Right again, this is very, very straightforward. So the leg, there's that little funny groove at the top there. There's a little funny groove at the top there. That just slots in like so. So I'm gonna glue that into place. And then come back to you for the next piece. Right, so next is what's he, what he's going to be armed with. Now, they could be armed with a multiple different ways. You can just give them all combi weapons or the combi bolters or whatever it is. Or you can give them the specialist weapons. I'm going to give this unit specialist weapons. Just, this is one I'm going to give him. So when he drops from, when they drop from Deep Strike, that's like a torrent weapon, so he can instantly just open fire and, you know, really do some damage to the enemy. But what I want to say to you is if you're going to go to combo weapons or the bolt weapon, bolt uh, combos, or combo, whatever they're called, because they're not called stun bolts for these guys, this is pretty much what they are. You have the arm with half the gun here. So there's a little square pin there. So like these are the bits that are added on. Any one of these bits going here. It's numbers 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So you see that's a metal gun, that's a flamer, but it goes in there and becomes a core weapon. Now, that little square bit there, and if we look at the back, there's a little pin. So that's how easy they are to go in. Now they're very good at killing the anti infantry like four plus or something. One shot with rapid fire or something like that. So they're pretty good, but I'm gonna go with this boy anyway. So I need this one, which is number 10. And I need number nine, which is only a tiny little piece. Where are you now? There's number nine. So I'm going to slip those two pieces off, glue them down, I'll show you how they go together and how they go into the model. So again, this is very straightforward. Exactly the same as the Death Guard one. There's a little pin in there. There's a little hole. Just slots on over the top. Like so. Now there is a horrible join line. We'll just run the glue along there. Now, again, this is very straightforward. So we glue on this section. There's a square hole. There's a it's a diamond pin base. It goes on the square. 
في فيديو مثل So the next one, next piece we need is number six. That's very strange. Test the piece. I oh, know number six. Sorry, but I'm looking wrong. That's really weird because it says number six, but also number two. Oh no, sorry, number two is the head. Sorry, I'm looking wrong. Number six, which is this axe. Okay, again, is a square hole. It's a diamond hole, but some hole, and there's a diamond pin on this side, so that goes in there. So we're going to glue that on and then glue him into his base. Well, we'll glue that on. There's one more piece, and then it glue him into his base. Right, so the next piece we need is either number eight. On number 11 which is they're both really cool pieces I'm gonna go with number eight just to clear all the stuff from down here yes so it's very straightforward there's a funny little rectangle thing I just uh, it's a rectangle hole top of the shoulder there's a rectangle pin so I'm dropping the model taking the armor of course you did so it just sits up there like so. So I'm back on. And then he glues into his base. He's the first one done. Let's right, so on with the next guy. So we number 39, which is this one here. It's the one I showed you earlier. Based on the opposite side of the sprue. Number 39. And number 40. Which is this head here? Okay, so we've just taken all those pieces there. I don't need to show you. Head goes on. I've shown you already. It's same same way. And so the next piece we need is number forty one. We just took the head from there, so it's right there. Snip that off. Just show you how it goes on. Well, I don't need to show you how it goes on. It goes on the same as the other one. Straight over the front there, connecting in the sides. I say connecting in the sides. This little curvy part is where the arm goes in. Right, when I said arm goes in, I mean the circle bit there so to make the arm slot. Now, there's a bit of booboo on the instructions here, because it's saying you go straight on. Well, it doesn't, because you have this piece that goes over the top. So you literally got to slide over the top of the horn and then slide into place. It's not much of a, you know, difficult thing to do, but it's just the instructions tell you to put it straight on. Unfortunately, it doesn't go like on there, it's going over the top. So, the next piece we need is number where are we? 42, this one here. Okay, that's where the, the first part of body was, so it's just there. I'm going to snip it, clean it, so it goes on. Well, I don't need to show you because there's a, there's a weird looking pin there, and there's a weird looking hole there. So it just slots into there. Right, so this one can be on to move the blight launcher, which is this lovely contraption here. That just slots onto there. See there's two there's two pins. There is two holes, very straightforward. And then it goes on the side of him. But I'm actually gonna go for the bolter combo on this one, combo weapon. So we do number 49, which is this one here. And then any one of the any one of these little pieces that go onto him. Probably gonna take one of these two just because some spruce handy. Um, and as I said Joe you earlier, there has a little pin and there's a little hole. There's a slot in this normal. So now I'm gonna glue it onto him. And this piece we need is number 43, which is the one here. So that's where his head was, so it's just there. The last piece we need for this guy is number 44, which is this piece here. Again, it goes on the same way as the other shoulder pad I've shown you, and it goes on the sword arm just up here. So I'm going to glue down, glue him into the base, and then we're on to the third guy. Right, so the third guy, we need body number 25, 
was this one here. Okay. That's the other piece where I need, but it's just a rough point of reference where he is. And we need head number 26, which is an amazing piece. Or head number 27, which again, this duck actually amazing. I'm going to go with 27, because the body looks like a actual like a beetle type fly thing. So I think that fits in nicely. So I'm going to stick those two pieces off. I don't need to show you how the head goes on, because it goes on exactly the same way as the other, as the other gut model. My right, next piece we need. Number 28, which is the leg. So we just took that body, this is the leg. And it's a weird shape there. And it hooks onto that red pin there. Yeah, I'm going to glue it in place and come back to the next piece. Right, so the next one we need is number 29. I love this, it's absolutely amazing. Again, it goes on the same way as the other ones, just slots over the top here. You line it up line it up here at the semicircle here because that's to be the arm slot right so his gun arm is either going to be the combi bolter or combi weapon which is number 31 again you'll need a you see there's a little slot there the just say for example this one here okay again it goes in the same way there's a little pin well that's a little slot that side little pin little slot that goes straight onto the arm. But I'm actually going to go with the Reaper Auto Cannon with this guy. So the pieces I need for the Reaper Auto Cannon are 35 and 37 and 36. So I'm going to snip those three pieces off. I'm going to show you how this lovely little gun goes together. And the arm just glues on as normal. I'm going to glue that on afterwards. Right, so it's really straightforward. So this. Just slots over the top. Have I got the wrong way around? I think I have. No, I haven't. Yeah, just slots on there like that. Okay, there's a few little join lines. We'll just see, just get rid of those. Now, the, this front piece here, just chuck a bit of glue on there. And this lovely little piece and just slots in like so. Now we have our Reaper Auto Cannon. Very nice. So much detail on this, that's amazing. I love it. I'm going to glue that. Love that little tentacle coming out of him. I'm going to glue that onto him. Again, it's only a little pin, hole, just slots on. Okay. If you can't get it on properly, oh, it's not going on properly, then just snip that little bit down. Glue it on nicely like that. They should fit in just like that. The right, next thing we need is either number 32, which is this shoulder piece, or number 38, which is this one here. And that slots on the top here. So, that's not on properly. There it is. That's lost on the top there. So I'm going to pick one of those, clean it off, glue it on, and then come back to the other arm. Right, so the other arm, you've got a choice again. You can have a 33, which is this amazing axe. If you take the axe, this is the 34 that has to go on the top here. Yeah. Or you can take number 30, which is this amazing blade to sword arm. I'm going to take this one because I like the spikes on the top there. Again, that glue's on the other side. He goes on his base, then he's done. And so until the fourth guy. The fourth guy's going to be a little bit more tricky because he's going to. I'm going to. He can now do the bolt, the combi, the, the bolter combi weapon, or the the great, the bionic weapon. I'm going to give him the great weapon because I want them to have a little hit in close combat. So the first one we need is number twelve, which is this one here. Then it's head 13, which is this one, or head 14, which is this one down here. Either one is absolutely amazing. So again, the head goes in the same way, so I'm going to snip them, clean them, glue the heads to the head into the body. Next piece we need is number 15. Okay, so we're just taking the body from there, so number 15. 
to show you right now. There's a little funny hole. There's a pin on that side of the leg. Just glues you straight into there. Next one for this guy is number 16. So that's where the first piece is. So it's that piece there. Yeah, I'll just show you how it goes on. It's very simple. And so we are taking the combi weapon and the close combi weapon. It's going to be number 19. And whatever piece you want to add to it. So I'll really show you how it goes on. And number 17. Okay, they go on either side of the model, respectively. But I'm going for the Great Plague weapon. So the first first thing I need is going to be 21, which is this, this piece here, and 20, which is this one here. Now when cutting this down, it's still changed, so just be careful, snipping it up and cleaning it down. The sanding sponge will come in very handy here. Right, it's very straightforward. There's three little pins in that circle bit there. There's three little holes. I'll put glue on it as red as you can see. And it just slots in. It does just slot in. Obviously it must be difficult on camera. It slots in like that. Okay. Doesn't, it doesn't quite look right, but I'm just going to fiddle with it off camera and just see because that, that top bit looks fine, but the bottom part doesn't. But I'm going to, anyway, fiddle around with it, make sure it's right, and fill in that little join line. Don't look in the camera. Right, so the next two pieces I need are 24, which is this one, and 22, which is this one. Now, they go on either side of the model, okay, but there's the hand. And there's the wrist. Let's have a look at the connection point. There's a weird little nook in there. There's a weird little nook in there, so it does slot into each other. So I'm going to glue those two on and line them up, because then this go this piece goes on afterwards. Right, so putting this on, this is very straightforward. There's all like hooks there. Just hooks on. Sort of like that. I'll have to probably sit and hold it for a minute or two. Then the last piece we need is number 18 or number 23, and that slots on this side. Just on a little raised bar, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving it to dry for a minute or so because it's still a bit weird. I'm probably going to go with 18 because I like the. I don't know, I, I do like that one as well actually. I'm probably going to go with 18 just to be safe and just glue it on there. And then we're going to come on to the last guy. The last guy seems very, very simple. Right, so the last guy, we need number 50, which is this one here. And number 51, which is his head right there. Again, the head goes in the same way as the others. Next piece needed is number 53, which is the only front body part left. Right, so the next piece needed is number 52. This one, this last model, uh, it's usually the leg that goes in first, but it's the body goes in first, this one. So 52 is the piece that we need. There is a funny little pin there. There's a funny little groove there. Or a little nook, should I say. And there's a groove that it goes into his leg part. I'm going to clip that off, glue that on. Right, so the arms for this guy are number 55, which is his combi weapon. And then just to say this one, look, any one of these other little pieces. Again, I've shown you how it goes in. It's a little square hole. Square pin. Very simple. And then his other arm is 54, which is this arm here. So... Glue them on, I'm going to glue them into his base and I come back to you and for his shoulder pads. Right, and this guy's shoulder pads are number 56, which goes this side, and number 57 goes this side. I don't need to show you how they go on because I've already done that. So I'm going to clip them off, clean them, glue them on, and then come back to you for final thoughts. 
All right, so final thoughts on these guys. I absolutely love them. Really nice and easy. <clears throat> really nice and easy to build. I was going to give them a two for difficulty rating, but I'm going to actually move that to a three. And I'll tell you why. The first model I built, very straightforward. Now, the rest of them go together the same, they're very, very straightforward. But the heads started to get a little bit annoying for me as I was going along. Just, as you know, I, if I build another unit of this, I probably snip the little triangle bit off the bottom and then just glue the head straight in rather than trying to slot into a little slot. There are some more annoying mold lines on these guys. Mostly on the back of the legs. And I've just noticed, you might be able to see it here, there's one going across the back here and up the horn. So I've just noticed just now. But that is not a big issue because I can sandy sponge it before I spray them down as, as I always do anyway. The two-handed weapon, I don't know why I put myself through it, but two-handed weapon was a little bit of a pain in the backside to put together. But it's done. So I'd give these guys a difficult rating of a three. Simply just because of those few little bits and annoying mold lines, which, you know, considering the detail on the models, you can't really complain about it too much. The heads are a little bit annoying. But if I made another squad of these, and let's just say I didn't give them the special weapons or the, the two-hand weapon, put them together just with the combi weapons and the plague weapon is absolutely just so straightforward. There's none of this um, hand with the gun on it, gluing it into the arm and then gluing the arm onto the actual model. is actually just... Very, very simple. I like it. So difficult rating of three for these guys. The Death Guard Army is coming together very, very nicely. To be honest with you, I haven't really come across a Death Guard model, model or models that I've built that have been difficult, difficult. I've got the bloat drones to build. And I don't, I don't, if they're as easy as everything else, I don't see there being a problem with those guys. I, I'm, I was dreading them because I thought they're going to be difficult. I say them, I've got three of them, I build one on camera and the other two will be built, be built off camera at the same time. So when I finish one, I'll actually finish three. But no, I do I do like the, these guys, I do like them. So any comments or thoughts or anything about these particular models, check them below as always. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button. So it triggers YouTube share this video with more and more people, which makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. Yeah, and uh, until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Take it easy.